Fasting from wrong thinking, guys. Fasting from wrong thinking, ladies and gentlemen, is God's gift to us all. We have been given a gift, even in this season, to be able to renew our minds and to be able to transform our lives or to let our lives be transformed as we renew our minds. Renewing your mind is sometimes, sounds like a overly spiritual term, but all it means is embracing the new you, embracing God's description of who you really are and realizing that it's so much better. It means embracing God's way of thinking because God's way of thinking creates God's way of living and God wants you to experience kingdom living and it happens through kingdom thinking. And so there's this thought that, that I always used to have and it's, a, it's today's thought that we're gonna fast from is the thought that says, I can't stop. I can't stop. Maybe you can't stop a habit, a sin, an addiction. It could be, sometimes that is one of the hardest things in life is to quit those things. But it becomes easy when we realize that Jesus not only died to forgive us our sins, but he died to give us power and freedom from anything that has controlled us. We can be free from anything that has held us in bondage. We can be free from any addiction. Jesus has set us free from every bad habit, every addiction. We just have to let our minds catch up with what Jesus has already done for us. So here are some steps that I take in renewing my mind when I think I can't stop this or whether it's maybe it has to do with your appetite, eating, smoking, drinking, um, cussing, whatever you want to stop, you can. So, but here's the first step towards stopping anything that you don't want to do anymore. Stop trying to stop. Stop trying to stop. Instead, just continue to fast from wrong thinking. That's my encouragement to anybody. How do I stop this and how do I have this happen in my life? Just continue to fast from wrong thinking. This is a lifestyle. It's just like exercise should be a lifestyle, not just something you do to lose a, a few pounds quickly or stop eating for a few days or change your diet for a few days and then go back to the old way. We're not going back to the old way of thinking. This is what changes everything in your life. When you change from that old way of thinking to this new way of thinking, fasting from wrong thinking, it affects your appetite, it affects your health, it makes you, your life better in every way. And we need to realize that God's grace empowers us. Titus 2.11 says it's the grace of God that enables us to resist ungodliness. You know you can go to God's throne right now. I think we were talking about this the other day. You can go to God's throne right now and ask him for whatever grace you need. If you need help to overcome a, an addiction, just go ask God for it. Just go to him directly. Heavenly Father, give me the grace to overcome this habit. It's just simple. And then you say, well, I, I, haven't, I don't feel the grace yet. I don't feel the strength yet. I don't feel like I can do it yet. Then don't worry about it. Wait for the grace. Thank God for his grace. Thank God for his mercy. And remember this, change happens to you, not by you. Change happens to you, not by you. What do I mean by that? Romans 12, two says, be transformed. This is a word that is used that happens to us. Transformation happens to us. It's happening to you right now as you think these thoughts, as you read through this devotional with me, you, transformation is happening to you without you even realizing it. You're being transformed. Every time you speak God's word, it's transforming you. Every time you embrace one of these thoughts that, I, that, that I'm, one of these tools to overcome the wrong way of thinking, it's transforming you. And I wanna encourage you, that you can stop beating yourself up now. We often punish ourselves with self-condemnation, but Jesus, remember, Jesus did it all 
Jesus paid for it all, and we need to embrace that. And I, I know that I repeat myself, and I know that I repeat myself, but this is how you learn, and this is how you change the way your life goes by changing the way you think. It's really simple. So stay with me. Go and finish today's devotional. Go to the think it and say it section and speak it out of your mouth. Declare it out loud. Your words have power. God loves you today. He loves you so much. He's excited that you're alive. He's happy that you're alive. You make him happy. You make God happy. I'm telling you. What about my, with my habits and I can't stop this and I can't stop that? Stop thinking that your behaviors have, have the power to stop God from loving you. Your mistakes, your weaknesses, your shortcomings cannot stop God's plan for your life. They can't stop God's love for your life and they can't stop God's plan for your life. Just believe that and everything's gonna be all right. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue to fast from wrong thinking.